The Queen has offered her condolences to the Governor-General of Australia over the devastating floods in Queensland and New South Wales. New South Wales is bracing for more wild weather, including up to 150 mm of rain over the next four days and flash flooding, as the Bureau of Meteorology bomb, warns of dangerous conditions across large parts of the state. The Bureau on Tuesday afternoon warned NSW could be hit by severe weather in the coming days, with coastal regions and adjacent slopes from the Hunter down to the south coast expected to be the hardest hit. Areas still recovering from recent flooding could also be impacted, including the north of the state. The NSW State Emergency Service is monitoring developments in the Northern Rivers. A statement shared by the royal family read, I have been following the news of the recent floods in Queensland and New South Wales closely and have been saddened to hear of the loss of life and the scale of devastation. In the immediate response, Australians' resolute spirit and community-mindedness has once again shone through. In the immediate response, Australians' resolute spirit and community-mindedness has once again shone through. My thanks go out to the emergency services and many volunteers who have tirelessly assisted those in need. My thoughts continue to be with those who have been impacted as the focus now turns to the long recovery phase ahead. Sydney can expect large amounts of rainfall, with parts of the city again at risk of flash flooding. Meanwhile, rain is also predicted in the already flood-ravaged north of NSW where recovery efforts are underway after two flooding events in less than a month caused extensive damage to the region. Assistant Commissioner Dean Storey said, There remains the risk of some rainfall impacting the north coast and northern rivers areas which have seen so much rainfall in recent times. The coastal trough developing on Wednesday will deliver unexpected 50 mm of rain from the Upper Hunter into the Greater Sydney area and down the south coast. Ailsa Schofield, a hydrologist at BOM, says the trough will intensify by the end of the week. Ms Schofield said, we're really expecting to see this trough intensify on Thursday where we're expecting to see between 50 to 150 mm of widespread rainfall in the same central and southern coastal areas of NSW. Queensland and NSW aren't the only states being pummeled by wild weather. Heavy rains and gale force winds have cut off power to towns across eastern Victoria and a major highway has been closed due to flooding.